ang misa ng Webes Santo ng hapon ay inaabangan ng marami sa atin sapagkat mayroong mangyayari pagkatapos ng homily. At yun po ay hindi pangkaraniwan ang paghuhugas ng paa. Sabi po ng Roma, simula nung isang taon hanggang ngayon, ay maaaring wag maghugas ng paa sa Webes Santo dahil sa pandemic. Subalit, pwede namang maghugas din ang paa at mahalaga yon. Kung kayo po ay sanay nang nagsisimba ng Webes Santo, alam ninyo yung paghugas ng paa na ginawa ng Panginoon para sa labindalawa. Pero meron po siyang ginawa bago siya naghugas ng paa ng mga alagad. Ano yun? The Gospel said, He removed His outer garments. Tinanggal niya ang kanyang panlabas na damit. Mahalaga po yun. Hindi lang niya tinanggap kasi sasayad sa sahig. Yung pagtatanggal ng panlabas na damit ay mayroong sinasagisag. The outer garment is a garment of authority. The inner garment is a garment of necessity. Ibig sabihin po, sa pagtatanggal ng damit panlabas, ay tinanggal niya sa kanyang damit yung tanda ng kapangyarihan, yung tanda ng lakas, yung tanda ng dunong. Tinanggal po niya yon. Kung hindi niyo maintindihan ay halimbawa, bubuhat kayo ng balikbayan box pero kayo nakabarong Tagalog. Bubuhatin mo ba agad? Tatanggalin mo yung barong Tagalog at naka-t-shirt ka, saka mo bubuhatin. Kung ikaw yung naka-Amerikana at pinagbuhat ka ng refrigerator o ng television o pinagtula ka ng kotseng nakatirik, Di ba, tatanggalin mo muna yung jacket? Aalisin mo siguro yung korbata bago mo gawin yung dapat mong gawin. That is what the Lord did. He removed His outer garment because He was ready for the work of the Father. The outer garment is a garment of authority. It is a garment of power. Ano ang turo sa atin na tinanggal niya ang kanyang damit panlabas? Kung ang damit panlabas ay sumasagisag sa kapangyarihan at tinanggal niya yon, ang ibig sabihin ay mayroong mas mahalaga, mayroong mas mataas kaysa sa kapangyarihan. What is more important than being on top? What is more important than being number one? What is more important than being powerful? What is more important than being a man of authority? What is more important than that? Love. Love is more important than authority. Love is more important than being on top. To be loving is more important than being number one. Because the number one may be arrogant. The number one may be hated. The number one may be a cheater. The number one may be a liar. The number one may be a killer. The number one may be feared. But if that number one is not loved, being number one is senseless and meaningless. When the Lord removed His outer garment, He was teaching us a very important lesson in life. To be loving is more important than being powerful. Sapagkat sa dapit hapon ng ating buhay, ang itatanong ng Diyos sa mga makapangyarihan ay hindi ganong boto ang tinanggap mo. Anong number ka sa survey? Sa dapit hapon ng ating buhay, ang itatanong sa atin ng Panginoon, ganong pagmamahal ang ibinuhos mo sa mundo nung ikaw ay nabubuhay? Pangalawa, ang outer garment, ang damit panlabas, 
ay suot ng mga guro. Nakikita natin yan kapag graduation. Ang graduate, nakapantalon o nakabistida, subalit papatungan ng toga. Yung toga, yung academic gown, ay tanda na ako ay may dagdag na kaalaman. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, when the Lord removed that, what was He saying? The outer garment is a sign that He was correct. He was a, it was a sign that He is right. It was a sign that He had the truth. When He removed that, what was He saying? It is, is there something more important than being correct? Is there something more important than being right? Meron pa bang mas mahalaga na nasa akin hawak-hawak ko ang karunungan? Meron. More important than being right is being loving. More important than being correct is being loving. More important than having knowledge is being loving. Because it is love that saves us from sin. My dear brothers and sisters, if being correct is not accompanied by love, your being correct can be repugnant. Kung yung pagiging tama mo ay walang kasamang pagmamahal, yabang lang yan. Kung yung pagiging tama mo at marunong ay walang kasamang pagmamahal, hindi ka dadalhin ng pagiging tama ng pagiging correct, ng pagiging marunong sa langit. What brings us to heaven is love. Love is more powerful than authority. Love is more important than being correct. Hindi lahat ng tama, hindi lahat ng correct, hindi lahat ng marunong ay maliligtas sapagat ang sukatan ay hindi taasan ng dunong, ang sukatan ay lalim ng pagmamahal. At isinuot muli ang outer garment pagkatapos maghugas ng, kama, ng paa. Iniisip ko sa aking panalangin, ano kaya ang ginawa ng mga alagad pagkatapos silang hugasan ng paa? Siguro, katulad ng marami sa atin, nagsabi, Thank you. Maraming salamat po ang ginhawa ng pa ako. Siguro nagpasalamat sila. Pero anong sinagot ng Panginoon? Hindi siya sinabing, Angga po'y wala. Hindi siya nagsabing, You're welcome. Hindi, hindi siya nagsabing, Walang anuman. Anong kanyang sinabi? Do it also. Imitate me. So, what is more important than thank you? Imitation. What is more important than praise and flattery? Imitation. Sa katunayan, kapag ikaw ay nagpapasalamat, pero hindi mo naman ginagaya, hindi mo naman tinutularan yung pinagpapasalamatan mo, fake yung pasasalamat mo. Because imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Imitation is the sincerest form of gratitude. Marami ng lessons ang paghuhugas ng paa. Subalit, mayroon din pong aral ang pagtatanggal ng panlabas na damit. Love is more important than power. Love is more important than being correct. And imitation is more important than thank you. Salamat sa Diyos sa paghuhubad ng kanyang panlabas na damit. Kung paano niyang hinubad ang kanyang panlabas na damit, dapat din nating ihanda ang ating sarili paghuhubad ng ating kinakapitang kapangyarihan. 
Because to love is more important than to be powerful. Na yung magbitaw kang sabi ko na nga ba eh, tama talaga ako eh. Kapag natutuwa tayong mali yung iba at tama tayo, ang tanong ko ay, nasaan ang pagmamahal? Thank you tayo ng thank you. Subalit nasaan ang pagtulad? At yon ang dahilan kung bakit sa iba't ibang barangay, nag-ipon tayo ng bigas at nagpakain sa dukha. Yon ang dahilan kung bakit may pakain sa mga purok sa kapitbahayan sa mga sitio na hindi nila kailangang pumunta sa sentro ng katedral na ang pagkain, ang pagmamahal ay dinadala kung nasaan ang nagugutom. Yon ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan tayong tumulong sa nasunugan sa Arilyano. Yon ang dahilan kung bakit may daladala kayong alay ngayon sapagkat ang Webe Santo ay walang kwenta kapag hindi natin tinularan yung naghugas ng paa. All of these are not original. None is original. Because the Lord had done it already. And because we want to thank the Lord, we are giving, we are sharing, we are feeding, We are giving drink to the thirsty. We are educating the ignorant with much love. Because love is more important than authority. Love is more important than being right. And imitation is more important than a gratitude from the lips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube. And uh, I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.